Hi, I'm Adam Keyes. Welcome to a new series on building web apps and services with Sinatra. In this video, we've got some excerpts from the first two episodes to show you what this series is all about. These screencasts are a great way for you to get up to speed with writing web applications with Sinatra. I hope you like it. I often think of Sinatra as the smallest possible abstraction over the interesting parts of HTTP. Sinatra implements that minimal abstraction through a few methods that end up looking like a little HTTP language. For our first application, let's build a URL encoding service, like Ruby URL or Bitly. We can submit URLs to the service and get back a shortened, or in our case, hashed version of the URL. When we visit the new URL, we get directed to the original URL. It's nothing too complex, but it's a great little app to start with. Now writing our post handler is really simple since we've loaded the shortener library. All we'll need to do is call our shorten library and say shorten the param sub URL. And that'll give us a URL object back, which has like a hash, the original URL that we wanted, and a timestamp on it. Before we implement the metadata page, let's take a brief detour through how routing works in Sinatra. We've already implemented a page that uses git slash to handle the root URL. And what you could expect if you used curl to request this URL from your application, you could expect to find an empty parameters hash. Now if we did a post to that URL, first let's test that the home page just renders content. So we're going to use this git helper that Sinatra provides to fetch the root URL slash. Now I can run cap deploy. And my code is deployed to the machine and my application is restarted. So now if I go back to the browser and refresh it, then you can see our application running. For this episode, we're going to build a little REST service. REST is a great way to model data manipulation via HTTP. It's very popular due to its simplicity and tool support. We're going to use the REST philosophy to build a service that stores little quips and asides. Sinatra's got the right balance between a nice API and minimal code to help us write a small, fast little service. This is why I find Sinatra so exciting to use. And then let's write a post handler for asides. So when a client posts to slash asides, we're going to create a new aside model and extract the param sub body and use it as the body of the aside. Then we're going to try and save the aside off. So if we do that, you see we get a 201 created response. We have the location of our aside here, aside slash one. And here's our little helpful message saying what was created. Now if we run that command again, You'll see we got the 412 precondition failed because we tried to submit a duplicate aside, and here's our error message. So now let's look and see what the JSON representation looks like. Again, we have a 200 OK. The content type this time was set to application JSON, and here we have a JavaScript hash containing all the properties of our aside. Sometimes we'll need to add a little protection to our app. Specifically, we'd like certain handlers to require HTTP basic authentication. This way, users must enter a username and password before they can access a resource. And here you can see we get 401 unauthorized. So now, let's try it again, and then this time we'll pass the wrong authentication info. This time we'll get 43 forbidden, indicating we entered the wrong username and password. And if we try it one more time, but this time with the correct username and password, then we get 204 no content, everything was deleted, and that's what we wanted. 